So recently at Flight Sim Expo, Austin had the opportunity to speak with the guys that created X Enviro, and they gave him a key. And um, Austin asked me to load it on one of our systems here at X-Force PC so he could take it for a spin. Now, um, Austin is not familiar with the product, nor did he read the manual. So um, it's essentially a video of him uh, poking and prodding with the thing and fiddling around and checking it out. And, you know, it's probably not the best tech demo in the world, but uh, it does allow you to see his impression of the product and, you know, what he thinks about it and, and, uh, and how it looks and so forth. So apologies to the X Enviro guys for the lack of a familiarity with the product, but I think you'll get the idea. Roland? Mm -hmm. Okay, hey, Austin Meyer here, uh, hanging out with Mike Brown uh, at X-Force PC, as I do from time to time, like we used to hang out playing, what, Doom back in the good old days. Remember we played Doom and Duke Nukem for hours on end? With a modem. With a modem. But anyway, we're doing, uh, nowadays we're doing X-Plane, which involves uh, less shooting, but we get the fun of doing it ourselves, don't we? So, um... Today, I am looking at the X-Plane Clouds. Wah, wah. They're not that great. They're kind of like, okay. I mean, when I look at these, they look all right. But can we do something uh, better? And the answer is yes, we can and we will in the future. <laughs> but there's a limit to how much time we have and how much scheduling ability we have. So luckily, some folks came along and did something better for us right now. So I go, I go plugins, uh, we're doing plugin admin, yeah. right? X Enviro. X Enviro. So what's the name of this product, Mike, that you installed? The X Enviro. X Enviro. This is called X Enviro 3D Cloud. So let's go with X Enviro on. So uh, we just got the uh, X Enviro uh, plugin uh, at Flight Sim Expo, where X Enviro was and where we were. And, um, they uh, gave me a digital download key to install it and give it a try. And I said, how about uh, when I hang out at Mike's Plane X Plane as you do from time to time, we'll throw the X and Biro in there and give it a shot. So I just turned it on and I gotta say I'm slightly underwhelmed. Nothing's happening. Boom, never mind, there it is. So it takes like a good solid 15 seconds or so for the clouds to generate. Oh, and the frame rate, by the way, just dropped from 60 to 33. Okay, the frame rate was 60 with the X-Plane Cloud, so it's 33 now. So it cut the frame rate in half, or not quite well, in half, got but. Really high in this yeah. You just lost your microphone. Okay, hold on. Can you still hear me? Yeah. Does it still sound okay? Okay, you didn't clip it to my shirt well enough. So okay. The, the, the settings are cranked, like every box is checked. In X-Plane, not in X Enviro. No, in X Enviro, everything is checked. Oh, but there's all sorts of sliders and stuff you can right. raise up, right? Look, plugins, X Enviro, settings. Mike, this is not what I call everything cranked up at all. Well, all the boxes are checked. The boxes are checked, Some but the sliders are, are not like cranked. Speed and stuff that wouldn't affect performance. Oh, 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 oh I see. Settings. I see. Okay. Well, we'll look at that in a minute. But the bottom line is what we have here is, is uh, uh, what is this? Oh, an i5. We got an i5, 9600K running at 4.8 gigahertz, and you overclocked a little bit. That's our processor on this thing. We've got an NVIDIA RTX 2080, if I got that right. Yes. NVIDIA RTX 2080 video card, which is the second best NVIDIA video card you can buy. So what we have here and is a one pretty... One question we'll get is yeah. what resolution is that monitor? It's 3840 by 1080. 3840 so by 1080. It's like two 27-inch monitors side by side. I see. Pixels. And I can tell you just from flying, the resolution here simply looks phenomenal. I mean, it's like, however good my eyes are at age 48, uh, they ain't that much better than the monitor. You know, it's like, 48. am I 49 now? <laughs> yes. I can't keep track of how old I am. I try to push it out of my, I try and push it out of my mind, he says, knocking off his bifocals. Okay, so, um, the resolution is incredibly good. The uh, CPU is uh, fast, the video card is fast, and the frame rate went from 60 down to about 36. So almost to cut the frame rate in half. Now, here's a question. Is that a compliment or an insult for me? The answer is I don't really know. It seems like a trade-off, right? The clouds here are way, way, way better than the default X-Plane clouds. They are absolutely 3D volumetric. Sure, there's some little rendering artifacts here that's where they don't look exactly perfect, but from a standpoint of what clouds actually look like uh, flying through them uh, in the real airplane, uh, it very much feels like 
uh, a certain type of cloud that you encounter on certain types of flights uh, in certain weather. And one feature they mentioned is when you fly through the clouds, you get things like the strobe light flashing off the cloud uh -huh. and things like that. There's a lot of little tiny things. Oh, let's see how it looks at sunset. All right, it's fine. Well, well I'm going to move the time of day to sunset uh, or evening. And, uh, and I'm holding down the L key now, but you wouldn't know, would there. you? Okay. And, uh, and we'll try flying. We'll see how they look at sunset, and we'll see how the strobe lights react at night. Oh, here we go. Okay. All right. So now we're down at 28 FIPS. So the question is, is it worth cutting the frame rate basically in half to have better looking clouds? And my answer would be, uh, oh, this is a little yeah, awkward. Going by on your right there. Yeah, that's cool. The answer would be maybe. I mean, we're in a flight sim. We're supposed to go through clouds, right? And it's probably worth allocating some frame rate to them. Either I'm getting some strange little artifacts, rendering artifacts here on the side of the King Air. Um, all right, let's go ahead on up into the cloud and see how it looks. Okay. I'm getting these odd kind of rendering artifacts. I don't know if that's an X-plane bug, a driver bug, or a cloud bug. Um, oh, wow. This feels like being in clouds... Uh, let's see if I can zoom out a bit. Or hit W, see what it looks like. Yeah, uh, yeah. Okay, maybe I should hit Shift W. <laughs> um, okay. I feel like this is a fairly decent simulation of being inside a cloud. <laughs> okay, oh, here we go. Oh, nice. Look at happens when you come out of the edge. Now, there is, there's definitely a rendering artifact here that I'm seeing this kind of like ice-like pattern, but I don't think it's actually ice. Yeah, well, there's uh, a checkbox to put uh, drops on the windshield, and I yeah, think it's doing something It's with trying that. to do it, but it's not working quite right, I guess. It's just sort of like a dithering effect. But um, this... Yeah, I would say when I look at this, I see it's a cool tech demo. It's um, it's starting to look a little bit like CG blobs. Like this could almost be a lava lamp. You know the lava lamp of like the wax inside the oil? It kind of looks about almost as much like that as like a cloud, but it's certainly better than the X-Plane clouds because it's a real honest-to-goodness 3D uh, shape. Um, you can really tell it's 3D clouds. So it's like... It's not perfect, but it's a huge, huge step in the right direction, a huge step up from the uh, default X-Plane clouds. All right, so now let's make it night a little more. Let's, because sunsets are in clouds and get really amazing. Let's see what Where's we can see. Sun? Yeah, let's see if we can find that sun. Okay. Oh, wow. Okay, let's go a little earlier. Where's Mr. Raymond? That's weird. Can't find the sun. Yeah. Maybe it's hiding behind the cloud. Ah, there, uh, there it is. Okay. So, all right. So with the cloud right behind, or the sun right behind us, let's. I'm not getting that really beautiful red sunset here, am I? What if we get down below the clouds a bit? Now, there are settings in the plugin for blurriness of the cloud. Uh -huh. that can be increased or decreased, as right. well as um, there's another slider in there. I forget what it's called, but that's in the settings. It could uh -huh. affect the way those clouds look and affect the frame rate. Okay. All right, well, why don't we take a look at that? So, um, all right, now let's, let's try making it a little early so we capture the clouds from underneath. That looks really good. That This absolutely reminds me of plenty of approaches I've flown into airports where it's uh, cloudy when you arrive. We have the real 3D clouds above you and then this distant 3D pattern far away and you know you can fly up to it. Gosh, I love it. I absolutely love it when you're just below this, uh, this broken layer maneuvering into an airport. This feels just like the real thing. Uh, just like the real thing. All right, now let's go to um, settings. What is it? Weather settings. Mm -hmm. Okay, so the minimum CEO, RVR. Cloud. Oh yeah, minimum ceiling, maximum ceiling. Second maximum. column cloud settings. Intensity yeah. and blur. All right, well we we did ten percent. Let's crank up to ninety percent. All right, let's let's look at both extremes. Do I, I do I see any difference? I'm not sure I, I do. Maybe see the frame rate move. It, to 23. Ooh, our frame rate just went from 30 down to 23, and well, now I'm starting to feel. Night. That happened when we went to 9. Oh, good call. Okay, let's back it up to daytime. See, now we're all back up closer to 30. Yeah, closer to 30, 28. So I don't really feel like I would say the clouds look more realistic. They are a little blurrier, but one interesting thing is in, uh, in real life, the edges of the clouds are shockingly not blurry. 
I mean, they are sharp. I was flying along one time in my old Columbia 400. There's this big, huge, massive thunderstorm off to my side, and I kind of had to like go around it. And it's in perfectly clear sky. And so I'm kind of skirting the edge of the cloud. And I thought, I wonder what would happen if I just kind of dip my little wing into the edge of it. And I literally had my right wing, but not my left wing, in the edge of that cloud. That's how short the edge was. And the second my right wing went in, the whole plane went, I was like, whoa, and I had to back off. And it's going to, whoa, like that, and pulled away. Like but cloud edges edge are surprisingly highway, short. Yeah, yeah, it's like the rumble strips, but that like times 20. So, uh, so at any rate, I'm not sure that a blurrier cloud is a better cloud, at least not when it comes to uh, cumulus. So it looks like going to blurry did set our frame rate back a little bit, and it made the whole thing kind of look vague and undefined. And there certainly is such a thing as like vague, undefined, nebulous clouds, but not cumulus. Cumulus have shockingly sharp edges, and you can zoom right above them in the real airplane. It's like zooming above snow. So let's go back to uh, settings, and I'm going to bring the... Well, let's just see what happens at zero. What can it hurt? And then what about the intensity? Uh, oh, let's crank happens. up the intensity here. Okay, so now... And remember, I guess they look a little a sharper delay, now. So there may be a, a little yeah, delay. a delay while they're built. But already, to me, this looks much more realistic. I suddenly feel like the clouds have uh, more of an edge and definition. It's not that strong an effect, but it is, to me, noticeable. And this, to me, is just absolutely beautiful. So, um, yeah, this is the X Enviro. You basically want to have an i5 9600K running at 4.8 gigahertz or better, if that's possible. And you want to have an NVIDIA RTX 2080 or better, if that's even possible, which it just barely is, since that's the second fastest NVIDIA card. Um, because at 35 FIPS, it feels fine. But there ain't no headroom left to slow down, is there? Once you start coming below 35, the sim starts becoming less fun. So um, I would say that, uh, and again, the name of this is the, the X Enviro cloud plugin. It's not exactly perfect, but how much do they charge for it? Do you know? They gave me this copy for free. You don't know? Uh, yeah, I think it's um, it's sub uh, hundred. Obviously, okay, well, I think it's in the fifty dollar range. All right, we'll Google it and put it as text overlay on the video right. or something yeah. afterwards. But um, it's uh, you know for uh, you know fifty or sixty bucks or whatever. It's uh, I'd absolutely have that much fun with it. Sure. Um, and it absolutely makes the clouds feel way, way more like the real thing. That's sixty nine ninety. Oh, well, there you go. Okay, I'm not so. Say it since you have the microphone. Right. Yeah. Of course. Okay. Now let's just go to flight configuration. I'm just going to see what happens. Oh, you see. See, here's the deal. They kind of got out of sync with us. We're set to clear, but clear is not what was there. So it looks like they're got, they're getting some uh, synchronization problems between uh, what is set up in our rendering and what we actually see out the window. And of course for X-Men that's a pretty huge no-no, right? Because the whole physics and graphics are so tightly integrated. Um, so it, they, they got out of sync. Somehow they have clouds here, even though it was set to, to clear in our, in our weather dialogues. That was a little bit of a mess up. In the settings, there's like a, um, a thing. It looks like it can download the real weather, maybe. Um, uh, here? So go to, yeah, go to settings. And in the lower left corner, I thought I saw something um, oh, thank goodness. Okay. But real weather is not necessarily what we want here, that's for sure. I'm looking for it. Let's maximum coverage total volume. Weather update interval, lower left, every five minutes. So no matter what you set, all the way in the lower left, no matter what you set, every five oh. minutes it's going to go, nope, I'm updating the weather to what it really is. Oh. So you could set uh. it to like, at two hours, and then you can make the weather whatever you want. Really? Is that how it's going on here? If I or set to 60? So, uh, are you sure this is real? But, but, but you, know, you haven't proven to me that this is real weather. This might be how often it gets weather from X-Plane, for all I know, which oh. is not necessarily real weather. So that's uh, a little thing that's not at all clear. But what is, yeah, but this was put back to clear without my command. I guarantee you that, and that's not an X-Plane bug to suddenly uh, change that weather uh, without command. Um, all right, I just set it to stormy, and now let's see if it moves to uh, stormy weather. And the answer is I don't. It looks beautiful. I mean, it looks obviously beautiful, but it's not what I commanded in X-Plane. All right, now, uh, to be fair, though, the, the X-Enviro guys, uh, 
they, they came at me the most recent flight sim show and said they wanted more hooks to X-Plane to get their weather to sync with X-Plane better. So I think they've seen this as well, they're aware of it, and they've already opened the dialogue with me to get those hooks all set up so they can get their clouds to reflect what's an X-Plane. And I immediately said, yes, absolutely. Let's get your, you know, let's get your clouds in sync with the X-Plane system for sure. So I am seeing uh, a disconnect between what's commanded in X-Plane and what's rendered in the sky. But that's a bug fix I think that uh, they'll be able to address because I definitely want to help them do that and of course we'll do so. So anyway, X Enviro, not perfect, not yet, but very promising and awesome. And having flown with this, of course, I don't want to go back to the Black Gold X-Plane clouds anymore. So that's oh, how you know you've raised the bar, turn right? It off and let's see what it looks oh, okay, like. fine. So what do I do? I go to plugins. X and Viro, and just hit that again. Yes. All right, now we go to flight, yeah, configurate, well, and now, well, yeah, okay. now this is actually going to work. <laughs> and there was the X-Plane clouds. Oh, yeah, pathetic by comparison. Absolutely pathetic by comparison. Yeah, so X and Viro. Experimental and tweaky still, but I still love it. That's that. Good.